Hi everyone and welcome to Bible Buddy for day number 90. And today we are reading the last two books in Deuteronomy, um, Deuteronomy 33 and 34. And we're reading Psalm number 69 today. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this opportunity to read together. Thank you for my online friends. And bless the words that we are about to read. And bless this reading. And all who hear it this day. Thank you for your salvation in your son Jesus. And all that we do and say, let it be done according to your will. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, let's open up and let's start reading at Deuteronomy 33. <clears throat> and this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blesses the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Sarah unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for them. Yet he loved the people, all his saints were in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet, every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Haran. when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be filled. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him into his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and thou and help to him and his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let thy Thummim and thy Urim be with thy holy one, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst drive at the waters of Meribah. Who said unto his father and his mother, I have not seen him, neither did her, he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children. For he hath observed thy word, and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgment, and Israel thy law. They shall put incense before thee, and whole burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him, and of them that hate him, and that rise not again. And of Benjamin, he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep of the couch beneath, and for the precious fruit brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of an ancient mountains, and for the precious things of lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the good of him that dwelt in the bush, and let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his children. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. And them he shall push the people together to the ends of earth, and they shall, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice. Zebulun is thy going out, and Issachar of thy tents. And they shall call the people into the mountains. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they shall suck up the abundance of the seeds, and of the treasures hid in the sand. And of God he said, Blessed be he who enlarged God, and dwelleth as a lion, and teareth in the arms of the crown of the head. And he provided the first part of himself, because there, in a portion of the lawgiver, as he seated, and he came with the heads of the people, he executed the justice of the Lord, and his judgment with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's whelp, and shall leap in Bash the from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor, and full of the blessings of the Lord, possess thou the west of the south. And of Asher he said, Let the Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be as shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength, strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jer 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 Jeshuron who rideth upon the heaven to thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. 
the eternal God is thy refuge, and thy underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fa fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine, and his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. And Moses went up to the plains of Moab, and to the plain of Nebo, and to the top of Pish Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto them, and all Natalia, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the utmost sea. And the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, and the city of palm trees unto Zorah. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, and to Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto you thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over whither. So Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the God. And he buried him in the valley of the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his secular unto this day. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, but his natural force abated. And the children of Israel went for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and murmuring for Moses were ended. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of spirit of wisdom, for Moses has laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, as did the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since an Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. In all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and all his servants and to all his land, and all, and in all that mighty hand, and in all the great terror which Moses showed into the sight of all Israel. Okay, let's go to Psalm number 69. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's read Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire, where there's no standing. I am come into deep waters, where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying, my throat is dried, mine eyes fell while I wait for my God. They that hate me, without a cause, and more than the hairs of mine head, they that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be founded for my sake, O God of Israel, because for thy sake I have born reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien to my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened away my soul with, chast with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the son of the jungles. But for me, but as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, is an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. O oh, hear, O oh Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach, and my shame, and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. 
and I looked for some to take pity, but there was none for my comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Ah, poor Jesus. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare. Let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened. Let that that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thy indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take a hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk of the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into the righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor in sorrow. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or a bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this, and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves therein. For God will save Zion, and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there, and have it in possession. They seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they and that and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Alright, thank you so much for reading along with me. And um Sorry about my voice, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. And thank you for reading along with me. And I hope you all have a blessed day.